I love the little the, the trophy right in the center. What is going on guys? It is JJ here back with another video today, taking a look back into 2013. It was a big year for one club, for one team, and eventually the next season would be even a bigger year for an entire country. But first, we're going to take a look uh, back at the treble winning Bayern side, and more specifically, the Champions League final winning Bayern side. Uh, less more about the team, more about you guys, the fans, because the Bayern fans and the Dortmund fans are two of the most passionate, uh, two of the most vocal uh, fan groups in all of Germany. You could definitely put them up there, obviously with Hertha Berlin. Their fans are insane. Schalke fans are insane as well. Uh, but I just always have this, you know, the, you always see the Bayern fans and the Dortmund fans just doing what they do and, and loving what they do because they are absolutely insane. So we're going to take a look at the 2013 final where Bayern the chance to win the treble, uh, Dortmund the chance to play spoiler under Jurgen Klopp, and you guys the fans during that time. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on it. Let's get into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Actually, the original videos. You can find both videos. I loved, I, well, I, I always felt sad because Chelsea sort of ruined Bayern's hopes of winning the Champions League in Germany. It was at the Allianz Arena, it was at their own stadium. So what do they do? They come to Wembley, uh, you know, to go and, and face their own countrymen, essentially, to go and try and win the, the infamous treble. It's funny because Inter had also done it against them. I feel like Bayern got so unlucky. They, they lost the Champions League final to Inter, uh, who Inter completed the treble. They lost the Champions League final to Chelsea. Or, yeah, lost the Champions League final to Chelsea in Germany. And so go, going to England, going up against Dortmund, you had to feel like maybe there was this, this curse that Dortmund were going to ruin the treble, ruin everything, take the Champions League final from them. I love the, the, the trophy right in the center. The, the, the joy and the passion and the... Oh my god, I love it. I actually love that. English police must have had their hands full. Look at this! Like, Wembley must have been packed. To have all of these buying fans walking down there. They are deep. Still got the TIFO, get the buy is that the buying badge? That's the buying badge, isn't it? In the TIFO form inside Wembley. Oh, with the Champions League anthem in the background. They actually beat you they if, if I remember correctly, on the way to that Champions League final. And Barcelona destroyed Barcelona. Schweinsteiger. Jurgen Klopp, the, the, the Dortmund Jurgen Klopp. I'm shocked he did never end up the Bayern manager. I really did feel like Bayern were going to poach him. <sighs> Look at that! The Dolman or the Bayern fans in the upper section going absolutely nuts. I can't, I mean, this might not show it, but I bet you the yellow wall is also going absolutely nuts as well. Seeing the Bayern fans watch this game, it's, oh, it's nerve wracking. I believe that the next video that we have as well is in that crowd section. I'm pretty sure from that fan section.
Ooh, I got one in there. The 2013 Champions League final, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, I definitely should have, though. See, and then see, looking at the yellow wall, just like across from Wembley. This would, it would be so dope. My guess is that there are more Bayern fans, though. That word, fans. Is it? Oh, this, so this is after it's finally over. I mean, this after the Robin goal. The fans, oh, I wish they'd show the celebrations. Maybe we'll get that in the second video. We'll probably get that in the second bit. Young Pankis. Celebrating with the boys. Go on, go on the boys. Getting their names etched into the trophy. The fans just... Going absolutely nuts. Bro, think about that. Dante, Jerome, Boateng, Lam. We're gonna go into the second video now because I, I want to see the the more of the crazy crowd of you guys in the crazy crowd I should say from from the Champions League final. This is dope. Like this, the flag waving right before. Like it's just such a dope scene. Robin. The limbs, the limbs. You had to be nervous, though. If I was a Bayern fan, I would have been so nervous after the first goal. They scored first in the, in the Champions League final the year before, and we know how that ended. Jumping up and down, flags waving, enjoying the 2013 final at Wembley. Love it! I love this! I love this! Is it the final whistle about to go? They deserve this. They really did. Brian fans, you, you deserve this. At this point, I mean, literally had gone through it for years upon years. Finally, finally, it's over. Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, I thought that was the place in the ground celebrating. Now it's the celebrations have begun. And this is it. Okay, so obviously, don't. If you guys want to see a Dortmund fan perspective of this, you guys can let me know down in the comments below. But Bayern fans, you guys deserved every bit of this Champions League victory. Uh, after after years upon years, essentially, of trying to capture this crown, you capture it in the best way ever. The treble under Jop Heinkes. I cannot imagine how crazy it must have been during the entire game. But please let me know uh, any other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more things like this, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.